I did heroin for about eight years, so I was, you know, definitely an addict for about eight, eight years and would have never dreamed that that would have happened to me. I was sleeping in abandoned buildings. I, I, I was getting arrested again for shoplifting to support my drug habit just so I could feel normal and not be sick. And some people on the streets had told me about a safe haven and I don't know how I wound up there, but I found one of the locations and I was really at the end where I told them I needed help, I'm homeless, I have nothing. A Safe Haven is a homeless shelter. It's for people that are in crisis financially for whatever reason, but it's so much more than that. They taught me how to live again. You know, they provided a structure for my life. They provided me with some, or required some accountability for me and um, put me in a community that was safe. I had people around me that told me what to do, where to go, because I didn't know what was next. Everything that we do here at ACP Haven is really assessment driven, you know, based on their individual needs, their individual challenges, and their individual goals. For some people, it's treatment for drug and alcohol addiction, education, job training, job placement, and access to affordable housing. It's a really robust model for helping address the issue of poverty and homelessness in a way that helps people move from homelessness to self-sufficiency in a very sustainable manner. Robert and I got married in 2001. We had started a family. We've been so fortunate to be able to work and to never go back to being homeless and never go back to being drug addicts. We've had complete uninterrupted sobriety now for about 13, 14 years. And it's, it's just, it's totally due to Safe Haven. We learned everything that we started with in our recovery program from them. A Safe Haven really has been funded by the state, by federal agencies, by the city. It's time that we really introduce ourselves and start to partner in a more meaningful and intentional way with the giving community, and that means corporations, foundations, universities, and organizations that are interested in social responsibility and getting a return on their investment. And one of the things that really jumped out at me before I picked up the phone or before we went and visited a safe haven was on their website, they keep score. They keep score of job placements, job training, and how many people fulfill program. Our students initially said, Mr. Natalia, we're gonna do this project on, and they went on a, a number of hair, makeup, cosmetic sort of thing. And I said, you can do that, or you can be taken seriously if you do something that has merit and has some sort of scope to it, like safe haven. Most businesses, almost all businesses, want to do something and have a social responsible mission within their, within their corporate structure. So, so they're looking to do something, to be able to proactively plan to do it with a nonprofit, with somebody like Safe Haven, is even an added benefit because it's not only uh, applying what they're trying to do and want to do anyway, it's doing something they can see the impact, they can touch it and, 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 and quantify what's happening. And the second you walk in the door, you can feel the difference. The energy level, the detail, the professionalism that they go about their mission on is incredible. In terms of when we printed the posters out for a safe haven and the postcards, I had a chance to really connect with a lot of the employees. And what's great about that is many of a safe haven's employees actually went through their program. So you can see tangible evidence in terms of how this program has helped them contribute to rejoin society and contribute to improving the process. Our job at A Safe Haven is to make sure that anybody who comes and partners with A Safe Haven in our Link Leverage and Align campaign is to work closely with the corporation in terms of designing what does the Link Leverage and Align strategy look like for the year, um, what are your goals and objectives, let's align that with what we're trying to accomplish here and let's provide you with a report at the end of the year that you would be proud to show your board of directors, your trustees, your shareholders, your stakeholders, your employees. It was easy to pick up the phone and position ourselves, which was linking, you know, Canon to a safe haven. You know, leveraging what Canon can do for them. It was simple for us to print posters and use a little bit of our own time. What that did back to us was create a different morale. I'm a sales manager that's not just driving a workforce and creating numbers. I've just been blown away with how empowered I've been to help a safe haven in terms of uh, providing them the resources they know to raise awareness for not only their events, 
uh, but also to help with fundraiser to support homeless veterans. Our helping self Safe Haven, that's the right thing to do, but if, if you don't do it for that reason, then do it for the selfish reason, which is it's great to make a partnership and then to work with that group and actively become involved with the community and produce something. Reaching out the way they're doing with this connection and making these relationships and these alignments, it's very, very important. And I see that as the only way to really solve the, the deep, deep issues that we have in this country or any country, as a matter of fact. You just need to be right there in the grassroots and somebody has to do it, but they have to do it in a planned, strategic way. And that's what I, that's what I see Safe Haven doing. We have a 30-seat call center and we are utilizing Safe Haven and the resources that they have, people that are looking for an opportunity just like we were and we were given, and it's a win-win situation. We believe that our model offers a very unique solution that connects the dots with all of the funding streams and the public sector. We're doing more with this Link, Leverage, and Align campaign to reach out to the private sector and to really engage uh, everyone, you know, to be a piece of that puzzle so that we are leaving a lasting legacy for the next generation.